There you go. Thanks, love. You're an angel. It was like Kelly didn't come back last night, then. Well, it won't be a first time, will it? Anyway, it's about time she started enjoying herself. It's after eight o'clock. She'd been back by now, shouldn't she? Well, you she? know what she's like. I don't think we need to send out a search party just yet, do you? Wonders will never cease. What are you up so early for? Well, I've been thinking. Am I going to like this? Can I go back to school? What's brought this on? Well, I miss me mates and I'm fed up being stuck at home. I still think it's too soon. Well, I don't. Look, I still miss me dad and that's not going to change, is it? And anyway, I'm falling back on my work. I don't want to have to drop back a year. Please, Mum. Are you sure? Yeah, I just want to get back to normal. Well, look, I'll tell you what, I'll pop down the school later and I'll see if I can't work something out. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Right. Breakfast for you, young lady. And when Kelly makes an appearance, tell her I want a word. Me too. Was it as good as you expected? Better. You? Well, it weren't my first time, remember? Yeah, no, but that's what I mean. Go on. How did it shape up? Not so bad. Oh, come on, like, on, on a scale of, like, one to ten. Why do blokes always do this? Do what? This. I suppose you'd be asking me next if the earth moved. Did it? No. Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, you did a bit. Really? Now, I'm going to get off. Yeah, I'm going to be late for work, too. Morning. A bit early for socialising, isn't it? Actually, uh, Curly stayed here last night. Yeah, right. See anybody? Right, you're here early, aren't you? Kelly stayed here last night. Oh, yeah. So for comfortable, was it? I am. Um, didn't sleep on the sofa, did I, Roy? Look, I'm going to have to get off. I've got to be in the surgery by nine. See ya. Mm. You didn't. Don't look so surprised, lads. These things do happen. Not to you, they don't. They're very funny. So, how was it on a scale of one to ten? Did the earth move? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Have a nice time. None of your business. Where you been? I was looking for you all yesterday. I told you, it's none of your business. And anyway, I don't have to answer to you. I'll find out. You're not my keeper, you know. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to get ready for work. Oh, there you are. Where have you been? I am. Um... Spent the night with Roy Glover. Roy Glover? Didn't think you were interested in him. Mind you, you could do worse. Exactly. Morning. <laughs> Morning. Normally have a liquid breakfast? What's that got to do with thee? Nothing. It's your liver. There's nothing wrong with my liver. Here's the Fergal. What do you write in that book? Hmm? Not just things. Like what? Thoughts, feelings, private things. Why do you not have one? Have what? A diary? Oh, it's much more than a diary. I suppose you could call it a friend. Busy? Ah, no rest for the wicked. Well, I hope you'll have time to fit in Tate Haulage. I'll make time, love. It's a big break for me, is this? Hmm, quite. Now, VAT returns. It's important that you keep a record of everything you spend. This is a suggested outline. It's best if you divide it up into columns. It's quite straightforward, but any problems, just give me a show. You'll soon get the hang of it. Hey, what time do you call this, then? Got it. I'm better late than never. So, as I was saying, any queries, you know where I am. Right, you are, love. Thanks again. It's a pleasure. Sorry, I'm late, but what happened again? It better not. So what's your excuse? For being late! Well, you might as well hear it from me. Uh, me and Kelly are in a... for an item. And, uh, that's why I was late. Spare me the gory details. I can imagine. <laughs> Mrs. Winter? If you want my honest opinion, it's far too early for her to come back, but she thinks different, so there you go. Well, she's going to have to come back sooner or later. Well, that's what she says, so where do we go from here? Would you like to sit down, Mrs. Winter? I'd rather stand if it's all the same with you. I've got a shop to run, remember? Well, she'll have to be moved to another class, but that can be easily arranged. Why will she have to be moved to another class? 
Well, I don't think it's a good idea her being in the same class as Andy Hopwood, do you? Of course I don't. I'm not daft, but it's him that should be moved, not Donna. I'll have a word with the Sugdens, if you like. What are the flaming Sugdens got to do with it? What rights have they got under the circumstances? Look, I'm sure you'll agree this is a very difficult situation. Difficult situation? He shouldn't even be here, if you ask me. My husband is dead because of that lad. Look, I I'll try and sort something out. Yes, you do that, Mr Clark, because I'm warning you, if you don't, I will be straight to the Board of Governors. See what they've got to say about it. I think you'll find the contract suits both parties. I'm sure. Look, here's to my new estate manager. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Shall we? Uh, yeah. Actually, as estate manager, there are quite a few changes I'd like to implement immediately. Yeah, well, that's your job, Eric. Quite. It's regarding staffing. Oh, not Seth again. Yeah, so, some things just won't go away. <laughs> the truth is, uh, he's past it, Stella. And between you and me, the old boy wants to call it a day. Well, are you sure? Because he's not said anything to me about it. Oh, well, how can I put this? Seth's the old school. He doesn't want to let you down, but he's more than ready for retirement, believe me. Really? So what are you suggesting, Eric? <sighs> Letting the old boy down gently. He'll be relieved. Are you sure? Believe you me, it's not a task that I relish. But I suggest uh, sooner rather than later. Well, aren't there any alternatives? It's as hard for me as it is for you, Stella. Oh, well, in that case, I suppose I've got no choice. I'll leave it with you, Eric. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Hey, old wrestler. I was in a world of my own. You had everything to live for. Do you know that? Yes. You had a wife, kids, business. Doesn't seem to make sense. No. Then there's me. No real job. No family. We're all here for a purpose, Terry. Every life is precious. You mustn't lose sight of that. But I can't seem to do anything right. I mean, if I'd been a few minutes earlier, Vic might not be dead. Terry, this is not your fault. I know that. Of course I know that. But what would I do when my best mate needed me? I would ask you... No, I would beg in a girl young enough to be my daughter to run away with me. I'm a loser. I'd swap places with him any day. Look, why don't we go back to the vicarage, um, have a cup of tea, talk things through? No, thanks. No, this is one I've got to work out on my own. Says it all, doesn't it? Much missed. I'm sorry, Ashley. But I think him up there made a mistake. I'll see ya. Hi, Lisa. Hey. Just the man I was looking for. Really? Yeah, it's about Bell's christening. Oh, so you've decided on a church christening, have you? Mm, well, I have. <laughs> um, what does Zach think about this? Well, he doesn't exactly know. Don't you think you should discuss it with him first? Discuss it? With Zach? I see. It's like that, is it? Yeah. Anyway, I don't care what he says, because I've made my mind up I want a proper do. For the proper reasons, I hope. Oh, of course, for the proper reasons. Well, in that case, what I suggest you do is um, have a word with Zach, and we arrange a meeting where we discuss, um, well, discuss the christening and your role in it. Right. It's more than just a day, you know. That being done, I'd be delighted to welcome Belle into the fold. Right, well, thanks, Vicar. I hear my little sister slid over yours last night. I hope you aren't come up here to commit big brother's speech, because if you have, don't bother. Your little sister can take care of herself. Yeah, I'm sure she can. 
I was thinking more about you. Hey, I'm all right. You are now. Wait till she dumps you. Thanks a bunch. I oh, can't both know what she's like. She uses people, Roy. Right? Yeah, well, she can use me all she likes if last night's up to go by. Sorry, mate. That's a bit out of order. Don't bother me. But that's exactly what I was talking about. What do you mean? She's been around, isn't it? Just saying, watch out. I'm not stupid, Scott. No, no, I'm not saying you are. Anyway, what we've got between me and Kelly is special. It's taken a long time, but not the same. The best is worth waiting for. Trick is to look as if you're listening and nod your ear at the right place. Do that and you can't go far wrong. Right, so uh, that's all there is to it then, Seth. Well, you could doff your cap a couple of times and all. Take it from me, our job is to make boss feel superior. Then he'll go away and leave us alone to get on with it. Right. Hard at it again, I see. We're having us lunch. Oh, at 2.30. It's a late lunch. Now, why don't you go and pass to somebody else? You're spoiling my view. This won't take long. As newly appointed estate manager, it gives me great pleasure, as from now, to dispense with your services. <laughs> you have 15 minutes to get your stuff together, and I'd get a move on with that sandwich if I were you, Mr. Armstrong. Oi, you can't do that. I can, and I have. You are fired. I see what my real boss has got to say about it. It was her decision. New blood, new broom. There's no place for old duffers. Get the picture. Boy, don't talk to him like Shut that. Shut up. On your way. Hey. I told you not to talk to him like that. Now let him go, or I will have no alternative but to let you go. Get my meaning. Leave it like. I know when I'm beat. So anyway, I thought, well, I'll go up there and thank her for the other night, because it's only polite, isn't it? It's nice, though, don't you think, to have somebody at the big house that we all get on with? Because although Stella has got money, her heart's still in the right place. <laughs> what were these biscuits you were after? They was made from almonds. Well, I'm going to need a little and... bit more to go on than that. I'll tell you what, why don't you go and look at the biscuits, see if you can find them, and I'll be with you in a second. Well, I... What do you think you're playing at? Sorry? Well, I saw my glover today. You've really got him going. So? Well, I just want to know what you think you're doing. Well, excuse me, but I don't think that's any of your business. I think it is. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Look, I'm just trying to make you see some sense, Kelly. Let me go! Look, I've never been interested in Roy Glover before, and you're not interested in him now, are you? God, admit it. I said admit it! Keep your voice down. Look, you're just frightened about what happened the other night. You're frightened about the way it made you feel. Go on, Kelly, admit it. It's not Roy Glover you want. We agreed we were never going to talk about it. Yeah, so I changed my mind. Well, I haven't. Just ignore her. I can't. I live with it 24 hours of the day. You only have her on a night shift. Yeah, that's bad enough. I wish you wouldn't slouch over the bar. It looks very unprofessional. I'm not working. I'm not talking to you, Mandy. You're off duty. I was talking to Tricia. Of course you were. Come on, you can do better than that. Back straight, tummy in. We're not in the army, you know. A little bit of discipline never hurt anybody. Since when did slapdash and shoddy get you anywhere? Right, I'm off to post a letter to my fiancé, Gavin. Then I might just treat myself to a nice cappuccino in the diner. I'll be 15 minutes. Sure you can manage? Cow. Sure you can manage? She needs to teach her lesson, Trish. <laughs> I've got an idea. <laughs> be right, umdinger, I'm telling you. Hey, when us dingles get together, we know how to enjoy ourselves. And it's all for you, <laughs> princess. I'm not sure I want a umdinger. It's a christening, not a stag night. Ow. Huh? Well, it's a dingle do, isn't it? Take a lot of pride in the naming of a new dingle. Part and parcel of our heritage. Time of great rejoicing. Even yeah, well, I don't mind the rejoicing. It's everything else that goes with it I'm not keen on. Huh? 
It's tradition, isn't it? It goes back centuries. Ah, well, times have changed and... Anyway, it sounds unhygienic to me. Get away. We've all done it. Any road, it's symbolic. Well, what about that horse's hoof? Well, that's to remind us to keep plodding on, no matter what, see? It's all good stuff, Lisa. Yeah, well, I'm not sure. What are you saying? I'm saying I'm not sure I want a dingle do. Well, you've got to have a dingle do. It's tradition. Ah, well, it's tradition to have a proper christening and all. You're not still thinking about a church do, are you? I am, yes. No, Lisa. The answer is no. Zach! I'll not be moved on this, Lisa! She must have every self-help book going. Oh, it's got to be in here somewhere. Women who love too much. Letters from women who love too much. Under the mattress. I bet it's under the mattress. Love addiction. The path to enlightenment. Men are now to control them. She's mad, Trish. She's definitely bonkers. I've got it. Now, let's see what you have to say, little friend. Living in the light. Stepping into the magic. Make sure I see a therapist just reading titles. This is bizarre. Oh, you're telling me. Look at this one. Discover your inner self through space travel. <laughs> I always said she were weird. <laughs> Come and have a look, man. It's spooky. She's got her whole life mapped out. Oh, God, into these books she hasn't. She's even called it the plan. Look. Get engaged to Mr. Wright by Christmas 98. We'll just tick that. Move to the country. Oh, this is freaky, man. Hey, that's weird. Look, 1993 to 96 has been crossed out. She's definitely got a screw loose for writing a list like this. <laughs> Look at that. Pass all levels. Then she's ticked the one she's got. Now, that is sad. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed how it starts in 1968? So? So, she told us she was 26. Oh, yeah? Little liar. Have you a minute, Ellen. All that. She's back, quick. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Borrowing a book. Borrowing a book? I know it might seem cheeky. More like rude, really. Sorry, we didn't think you'd mind. Well, I do. You've got no right to be in here. I just really fancied reading this. What is it? <laughs> the Marriage Wilderness. On second thoughts, I think I'll give it a miss. <laughs> Look. Oh, Betty Eggleton on the warpath. Not a pretty sight. Look, I don't think I can cope with this, sir. Do you mind? No, of course not. And could you be diplomatic? Because it, it must have been an awful shot for her. Tell her it was nothing personal. I go and get my kid gloves on. Don't worry, Stella. I'll be gentle with her. How am I to know you'd be up here? Oh, that's because I'm in charge here. Yeah, well, is Stella in? I don't think you can wheel your way around, Mrs. Jones. Her mind is made up. How do you mean? She's not here anyway. Oh, and I've gone and bought her some macaroons. <laughs> you mean you haven't heard? Heard what? You've obviously not spoken with your nearest and dearest. And he's most probably slumped on a park bench somewhere, drowning his sorrows. Oh, stop talking, silly beggars. What's my Seth been up to? I've had to let him go. Let him go? Mm. He'd been sacked. Oh, don't talk, Dad. Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me, things to do. Good day. This is typical Viv Windsor. I have to say, I do think she has a point on this occasion. So when does Donna want to come back to school? As soon as we can sort this out. Viv Windsor was quite adamant about it. Yeah, I bet. How do you think Andy would react to being moved to another class? Well, he'd find it hard, but then so would Donna. Absolutely. No, if uh, Viv insists that one of them has to be moved, then, then it should be Andy. Donna's just lost her dad. She's been through enough. If it makes it easier for her, then I say we move Andy. I agree. Good. That's sorted. Now, what about Robert? What about Robert? I think we should move him too. Well, he hasn't done anything. Why should he be moved? Well, I was thinking more for his sake rather than Donna's. He and Andy are very close. He may want to stay with him. That's true. Maybe we should ask him. Well, why should he move if he doesn't have to? Well, he might want to. 
Well, I thought he was doing well in that class. Well, he is. Well, then why move him? I don't see why his schoolwork should suffer just so he can be in the same class as his friend. <sighs> same class as Andy? They're almost brothers, Sarah. Look, why don't you two think about this and let me know, hmm? Listen, none of this is going to be easy, so you might as well get used to it. And what's that supposed to mean? Do you reckon she's cottoned on? Nah, she's dead thick. Freaky, more like. Yeah, do you think we're part of the plan? Well, I hope not. I don't end up like her. She probably consult one of books even before she wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing's funny. Then why are you laughing? I'm not laughing, Bernice. I'm just smiling. Didn't you say you wanted me to smile more? Yeah. We're living in the light. <laughs> So you had no warning? It happened just like that? Aye. It's a disgrace, isn't it? He's given the best years of his life to that lot, and then when he's had stuff he knocked out of him, they put him out to grass. It's a poor do. Well, it certainly wasn't like that in the old days. No. You managed to sack me twice, Mr Turner. You see, I thought you were one of us, but then money does strange things to folk. We're only drinking together a couple of nights since. Well, she's marked a card as far as I'm concerned because she's going to get short shrift from me from now on. So, what's going on? What do you mean? You and Love's young dream sat in corner. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on, Kel. He's like a lovesick puppy. I don't want to talk about it now. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Look, man, he's really nice. Yeah, as a friend. Oh. He's not too bad in other departments. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> got another one. And then he sacked him. Just like that. Oh, I could have punched him, Dad. It's always the way, Butch, lad. It's us against them. And don't let them tell you any different. But what about poor Seth, Dad? What's he gonna do now? Well, nothing, son. Nothing he can do. Oh, is there a cup of tea going spare? Hey, Lisa. Seth got sacked today. Oh, can this just wait till I get my coat off? Hey, Lisa don't want to chat about small fry. She's gone legit now. It's too well with the little man. Isn't that right, Lisa? Look, Zach, I've had a hard day at work. I didn't come home to have a row. Yeah, well, sometimes it's good to get things out in the open. Dad, I think I'm going to have an early nap. Stay where you are, son. This is neither the time nor the place. Neither the time nor the place. You're beginning to sound like one of them now. Like one of them? Quiet, son. If you'll excuse me, I think I'm going to have an early night. Yeah, well, before you do, I want to say a few words. Now, I might not be a rich man, but I know what's right. And every bone in my body is telling me you're way off beam here, Lisa. Dad, look quiet, son. Now, let's get one thing straight. Our Belle is a dingle. And she'll be brought up like a dingle. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly. Only it's too late now, Zach, because it's all organised. You see, Belle is my daughter and all. Only you seem to be forgetting that. I'm warning you! And I am warning you, Zach Dingle! Belle is being christened, and that is final. And no amount of shouting's going to make any difference, so you may as well get used to it. <laughs> 